Did you know that cranes are actually an offbred of a seagull and an ostrich? Welcome to the Knowledge Bay channel. So, cranes are actually a weakened species due to the DNA of ostriches and seagulls not having the same genetics. It's only a one in a billion chance that the genetics will line up perfectly to make the semi-functional creation we know today as cranes. Did you know almost all cranes are actually zombies? Their weak brain patterns allow them to be easily controlled by fungi. It's quite remarkable, almost impossible, but science never fails to amaze us. Cranes were actually the first animals to build a dam. The cranes had done this so they could control the fish coming in and feed the fungi. Fungi actually made their IQ increase in the brain of a crane because the crane's brain is very quick learning, but its body doesn't usually respond until fungi completely take over. Did you know cranes actually built the Great Pyramids of Giza? The fungi weren't doing so well in the desert, so they needed a dark, cold area to grow and control the cranes more efficiently. Most people think that Egypt was controlled by people, but this is not true. Egypt was actually a research lab for cranes. They had tried studying human life and how to take over the human body because it was useful for building an evolution. With the research beacon in Egypt, many fungi were able to tap into the minds of people from the United States most importantly, in Florida. Florida people have lower IQs and thinner skull lines, so they were easily taken over. They were sent to attack, but because the human mind wasn't taken over completely, the humans would be able to stop the mind-controlled zombies. Fungi have slowly been growing their army of cranes and have been continuing their research into humans. They've been able to convince some humans things like the Earth is flat, the moon landing was fate. It was, but the cranes didn't know it. Video coming up on that quite soon, and other conspiracies, quote unquote. The fungi are ruled by one major fungus. It goes throughout all of North America and spreads far and wide to break human minds. King fungus had actually come into contact with cows at one point. King fungus and Munamilka have been in touch with each other for the past couple of months. What's their plan? They will teach cows how to use mind control like the fungi to defend themselves as long as they help the fungi fight in a major war. But that war hasn't happened just yet, so that's a story for another time. Thanks for watching, subscribe or your mind will be taken over by fungi.